CTA International is a joint venture company uh, established about 20 years ago between BA Systems in the UK and Nexus Systems here in France. The main purpose of CTA International has been development, design and now manufacturing production and exports of the CT40 weapon and its suite of ammunition. Showcase of Eurostatory this year behind me we've got the CT40 weapon itself. What differs to DSCI is today we've got it connected to the ammunition handling system. This box to my right is the ammunition handling system you'll see in the Jaguar vehicle, the French 6x6. Off to the sides we have our different ammunition natures and then on the other side of the stand here we have the three turrets we are exhibiting today. Just behind me here we have the S40 rapid fire naval gun. So this uses the CT40 weapon in its anti-air configuration. This is designed specifically, it's been marinized for the naval environment. So it's designed around anti-air capability. It differs from the land gun in its arc of elevation and that it's tailored specifically for the counter UAV anti-air threat. Off to the side here, we have the VBCI, the next to 8x8. On top of this is the T-40 unmanned turret. This is the CT-40 gun, similar to the UK Ajax program and the French and Belgian Jaguar or Camo program. And then finally, off to the side, this is something we're unveiling today at Eurosatory. This is a new uh, turret development with Spanish company Escribano. It's an unmanned turret, again, based around the CT-40 weapon. So no intrusion into the turret is a truly unmanned platform uh, capable of being integrated into both manned or unmanned vehicles. What we're exhibiting here is the CT-40 weapon. So you can see behind me the low intrusion that this has into a vehicle. So it's the same intrusion uh, behind the gun as a 25 millimeter system. So very, very limited, but the same power as a much larger 40 millimeter round. At Eurostatory, we've got the gun connected here to the ammunition handling system. This is the system you'll see inside Jaguar. We have different designs for the ammunition handling system. This is designed around a manned turret. You can see it comes down into the baskets. The unmanned version of this extends back and has no intrusion into the vehicle or crew compartment. The S40 rapid fire naval gun is a different configuration again, with a much larger magazine, given it's a naval platform and the, the weight and space are less concerned than inside a vehicle. Especially the unmanned variant is especially well suited to robotic or truly unmanned platforms. And not speaking just in terms of the turrets, but the vehicle itself, we see a future capability for CT40 to be uh, run truly autonomously in the field. The ammunition handling system is linkless. It lends itself very well to selection and automatic loading of different natures without the need for there to be a man present in the loop, selecting and breaking links and changing rounds. That's done automatically by the ammunition handling system. So a real nice, uh, really nice synergy with unmanned vehicles and robotic platforms. This round is similar to the TPT round. It has no explosive content, but it's a low cost war shot round. Off to the right, we have the standard high explosive round. Again, it's up to four times as effective as a standard 30 millimeter round. So a high power round inside that compact package. To the right is our company qualified airburst round, which serves two functions. Its primary function is airburst. So a program programmable airburst fuse. If it doesn't receive a program instruction as it passes through the weapon, its secondary function is as a point depth round. And off to the right, is our new development round, this kinetic energy airburst. So it takes the same fuse as the airburst round, but instead of the explosive content and the fragmentation effects, it features 200 preformed tungsten pellets. So this has ranges of around 4,000 meters and it's primarily an anti-air counter UOV round. But the fit form function is the same across all natures. So these can be loaded simultaneously inside the ammunition handling system. The operator selects the round they need for the given mission. The ammunition handling system finds that round, selects it automatically, and it's then loaded.